confirm last week's multi-million dollar drug and money laundering bust here had a definite Mexican connection. Fifteen people, most in the Albuquerque area, are accused of running the ring for the extremely violent Sinaloa drug cartel. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is in the Newsplex with more. And Diane, federal agents say the operation had been growing for years. The ringleaders had garnered a high status with the cartel. The raid of three Albuquerque homes and the indictment of 15 people last week was huge, according to the feds. They said the group was not the typical small-time drug pusher on the street. Their role was much bigger. Was to receive drugs from the cartels in Mexico, bring them north to Albuquerque, and then they distribute the drugs in Albuquerque and sometimes elsewhere, then collect the money and send the money, take their profit out of it, and then send the money they owe back south. Back south to Mexico, straight into the hands of the Sinaloa cartel, one of the deadliest drug cartels in Mexico, run by El Chapo, Joaquin Guzman. It's contributed to the bloodshed on Juarez streets. This is a, a vicious organization with the resources to be as vicious as they want to be. DEA agent Keith Brown says the Sinaloa cartel was in direct contact with Omero Varela, the alleged ringleader. He says the group has been operating for years, trafficking drugs, meth, cocaine and marijuana, and money laundering. The size of their shipments were huge. He had 26 kilos of cocaine and over 550 pounds of marijuana, or around 550 pounds of marijuana. And when you Bring that out to money terms. You're talking about just short of a million dollars of drugs. Agents say Albuquerque firefighter Steve Chavez helped the operation cross state lines all the way to Florida. And it looks like he was selling to individuals in Florida who would deposit the uh, proceeds from their sales into his accounts. And agents say the illegal scheme had a cover up. The feds say the proceeds in the drug business were even put into horse racing accounts. Some of those indicted bought eight ho race horses last year. Back to you. Okay, Crystal, the alleged ringleader, Omero Varela, turned himself in this week. Two people listed in the indictment, though, are still on the run. Deputies.